welcome to Rutherford Roamings and welcome to our keto journey. So how was our week this week? How was your week? Was it better? Uh, yeah, it was, it was better. Um, from my, my last video, my, after my concussion, we're at what, day 13 after my concussion and, um, uh, things are getting better. Every day is a little better. You still get a lot of dizzy spells. I feel like I'm on a boat with motion sickness right now. And, uh, but you no, know, time will tell. It'll hopefully we'll be done with this in another couple of weeks and I'll be back to running again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. your keto journey is going, um, going. I haven't recorded anything. I'm just kind of listening to my body and just eating when I'm hungry. Um, I'm staying away. I'm staying away from bad foods. I did cheat a couple times this week, but I'm mostly staying away from the bad foods um, because they help. The good foods help you heal heal faster. But um, I haven't started recording yet. Once I start feeling better, I'll I'll get back into recording all my stuff because I think my thing is when I start recording, I start cutting back maybe too much so especially when you're running so yeah right now it's if i'm uh, hungry i eat good mm -hmm. stuff and the first few the first week you did a lot of coconut oil yeah i'm still doing for that training. are you still doing that yep for healing coconut oil is good for the brain watch out the window the neighbor kids are making a snowman mm. <laughs> so um I lost 0.2 of a pound, so that's okay. I'm not really in it for the weight loss as much as just feeling better. But tomorrow, or today, is one how month. How does that make you feel? <laughs> how does that make me feel? <laughs> it's good. So tomorrow is one month since I started, because I started on Christmas Day. And my total loss of weight is 7.1. Which is good because yeah. I, for my weight goal, um, I have nine pounds and that's the bottom, the bottom lowest I can go weight goal and other, I can't go any lower than that. You didn't just show what up. I'd be sick. <laughs> so it's going pretty good. Um, this week. I did have a couple hard days, like, I don't know if I was tired or just kind of bummed or something, but I wanted to eat everything and I didn't. Yeah, I, I understand that feeling because I'm, I'm a stressful eater. When I'm stressed, I eat. I just snack, snack, snack. So. I usually don't, but. So when I, when I get stressed, it's very difficult for me to stay away and it's easy to be it's easier when you're at home because we don't have anything to eat that's not keto so but you, i but you can still eat too much even though yeah, it's keto, you can still eat too you, much yeah and i did no i didn't eat too much i didn't go over my carbs but i did fill all my carbs one day with nothing but snacks i had you have all one, the snacks you have one snack? brownies and cookies and fudge jello i had i and i had it all before like I don't know, like three or four in the afternoon. And so it was okay. I, I had protein for dinner. It doesn't have carbs. <laughs> but I think, yeah, twice this week, actually. I ate a lot of snacks and no food. Well, I, I guess it's probably okay because, you know, you, you don't want to get your body in a steady rhythm for too long. You know, you, you, you throw a snack day in there and yeah. it kind of throws your body off and and the snacks are good. It keeps it going. Um, the snacks we have, most of them, maybe not the, the store-bought processed ones, but like the hemp seed cookies and the, you know, uh, the jello and uh, those kind of mm. snacks are actually good for you. Neat. What are those brownies you made this week? I don't know if those are good for you. <laughs> well, they are they were, good. They were good. They're they little, were good. A little on the dry side, but they, they were They were um, extreme no, fudge they were, brownies. They were not as good as at least... Uh, uh, keto leashes. crave yeah. yeah but uh yeah we made i made the extreme fudge brownies 
And then I made made more buttercream uh, fat bombs. Fat bombs. Well, so those are our favorite. Yeah, that's the one thing we can make that you can't screw up. I guess. That's like a, that's a good snack, and it's all good for you too. Um, what else today? I made the the hemp seed or hemp heart peanut butter cookies again this week. And, and you like them better. I actually like them better. I like they them did, better. They didn't have know. that. They didn't have that. Um, I, yeah. That non-sugar, that non-sugar sugar taste. I didn't. I used a different sugar, different non-sugar sugar. So, so maybe it wasn't the. Maybe it wasn't the chocolate chips I was tasting last week. You know the. It was the. Mm -hmm. Other sugar. Get the sugar. Anyways, um. What else did I make yesterday? Oh, I made that fudge again, the macadamia nut fudge. Oh, again. That was yummy too. Um. So yeah, I had a couple hard days, and then and then at my mom's it was it was kind of difficult, but I made it through. She made homemade fresh raisin bread oh. while I was sitting there, <laughs> and it smelled so good, and. Hopefully, hopefully your mom doesn't watch this video because that's she part, does, that's part of the reason okay. I don't go over there because she always makes bread and it's so good. And it's good for everyone. It, but it's us. Just, it's just not for me. <laughs> so I, what did I do? I, I made a, tur a tuna, tuna bowl with all the stuff. I put mayonnaise and mustard and, and hot sauce and all that stuff is keto. And I put it all in there and I ate my bowl of tuna. Pickles. I had pickles in there. And an egg. That tuna I had a hard-boiled egg. That tuna would have been really good on that bread. I know. <laughs> so so what keeps me from cheating or from eating things that I don't want to eat is knowing how bad it makes me feel. Knowing that I have to start over. And knowing that I'll be mad at myself. Ah, the light just went out. Nice. And, and uh, I don't like to be mad at myself. So I know I'll be proud of myself if I don't. So it's a split second decision sometimes. Just like, don't do it. You'll feel good about yourself. And so that's what I do. And that's what I did this week. Um, did we do, we did a couple different foods this week. We got, we found your JoJo's. Oh. Got three bears. So yeah, last time we were doing this keto journey, I found this, uh, it's a dark chocolate bar. And They're called JoJo's and they're keto friendly. And I get to, I can have one at night for a dessert after dinner and they fit right in with all my meal plan stuff. And they're so good and they're delicious. They feel like you're cheating. They're so good. Yeah. But then the only place that carries them around our area is this three bears store. Well, they redid all the shelves. And when we were starting our journey again, I was looking for them and they weren't there. And for this whole month, I've been looking and they're out there and I can't, I finally gave up on it. And like, well, maybe they just don't stock them no more. So I was shopping this week over there and I was going through different aisles and there they are in a different area in the store. And I'm like, I was so happy. <laughs> so I got a bag of those again. So he got his JoJo's. I don't normally eat the JoJo's uh, because they don't fit into my macros because they're about 11 carbs, which isn't bad. And they have fiber. So I think it takes like three or four off. But when my macros are only, when I can only have 13 carbs, that's like a chocolate bar is like my day. So yeah. I, I just, I go for my Atkins bars. They're two carbs. Yeah. My, my day starts with 27 carbs. Mine starts with 13. And, and that's if I don't get off the couch. Yeah. If I do yoga, which I do every day, that gives me one more. One more. So... So That's nice. Once I get off my restriction and my and Angie lets me run again, I'll get more too. So 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 we got the JoJo's. Uh, we did end up getting keto crave <laughs> bread. From yes. Okay, so we talked about the pre-orders last week. This week we we actually did the pre-order. And we went and picked up our pre-order. Um, and she also, she also makes extra stuff. So if you like 
pre-order your bread and you show up there and you're like, oh, I want some of those goodies and those goodies too, you know, you can always get more stuff while you're there. Um, but the pre-orders work awesome. The, um, and she opens about 11 o'clock-ish at that location. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I had, we had bread today. I had the jalapeno cheddar bread. I sliced up a slice of it and we set it on the wood stove over there for a little bit. And it makes perfect toast. And I had my, I had the cinnamon loaf, so I had, the day we got it, <laughs> I had cinnamon, the cinnamon bread, and I put cream cheese and the raspberry chia jam on it. That was good. Oh, that sounds good. I just did straight butter. Butter and crunchy bread was good. And then, this week you brought home pork rinds. Pork rinds, yes. Those are good. Those are keto if you like that sort of thing. And the um, flavored ones. I, I don't like hot, spicy stuff. So I found the super hot pork rinds that she loves. Um, the ones I like are the salt and vinegar pork rinds. So we got a bag of each of those. We also got, you also got olives this week, green olives. Mm -hmm. Those are good keto. I don't think we made any different meals this week. Did we have any real meals? We had salad. I don't think we had any nights together. I think this we were week. just like, I don't know, grab something out of the fridge and eat it yeah. if you want it. Yeah, we don't do full meals because a lot of times Angie's either working at night or at her mom's doing a Bible study. And and like next week, Tuesday, I'll be at a Bible study. And so there's a lot of nights we don't get together. And it's just, we just meal prep something and go. We don't have, a, I want to say a big dinner. We never have big dinners, but we never. We don't have a lot of dinners together um, but usually when we do we'll cook up either some kind of meat product or have just a big salad and and uh, you know we got burgers this week we ended up breaking down and getting some grass-fed burgers from the store because mm -hmm. I was craving some red meat craving craving dead cow uh, yeah so you know someday we'll get a moose and we'll fill a mm -hmm. freezer um so this week I, um, so our scale tells us lots of different things. And so one of the things that it tells me is that my metabolism is low. So I kind of checked into that a little bit and obviously it is because I've been menopausal for over 15 years now, naturally. And so that, yeah, you're, um, you're dating yourself. I know. No, <laughs> I started when I was 35 in menopause, so not really that old, but, um, <laughs> So I was looking up some things that I could do about that and how that relates to keto. And so what I've discovered is that for the, you have your carbs, protein, and your fats. And if I want to go over on any of those, it should not be the fats because my body is already burning fats slowly. That if I go over on the, what do they call them? outside fats where the foods that I'm eating fats mm -hmm. um, it's gonna burn those slow and it may not even get to my own body fat because I'm putting too much outside fats in um, and it works at the beginning of keto you need to train your body to eat the fats that you're taking in but after it's already doing that then you can lessen up on the fats that you're intaking and it'll start um, using your own fats so that's kind of gross the way you said that but all the Te teach your body to eat the fats consume the fats consume maybe. the fats either way um <laughs> but i know my, my fats are on my app they fill up first because i think all my snacks are fats <laughs> fudges oh and goodness. all those things are cream cheese and butters and yeah. all the good stuff is our fats and well, so i mean most of the fat but, bomb is cream cheese and butter. But That's you do like... need to, yeah, you need to have the the fats and proteins, you know, and your carbs. You need you need to have the fats with the proteins, or things aren't going to work properly anyway. You know, you can go there, over on all There is a way you could speed up your metabolism. You could go run with me. Yeah, I could. Well, you're not running, so. But 
there are some other ways I haven't quite looked into all of them and one of them I know is drink as having that apple cider vinegar every day somehow yeah. that speeds up your metabolism I'm not sure but I'll look into some of that see if there's um and I know it's it's menopause but there's other reasons why your metabolism might be slow um having a thyroid problem um lots of other reasons um I'm pretty sure mine is just menopause <laughs> I got old before my time but um what else did I learn this week I don't know. Oh, and I was, um, when I do my meal prepping, I know we talk about meal prepping a lot um, when we make our dinners or lunches just because I'm not it, home at meal times. Well, and that's extremely important. And uh, yeah, so that when, you don't cheat or so that you have food when you need it. Um, and I've learned that this week that I need to over, go over my macros, go over what I need because when I'm at work, I'm on my feet for eight hours and I didn't account for that. So by the end of the night, I come home at 11 o'clock at night and I still have four macro, four uh, carbs left because I wore them all off. And so See? I'm just packing, so packing heavy. So and then, you're, so you're packing, so you were packing like first thing in the morning, not taking account for yeah, all your activity during the weighing day. Weighing it all out and putting it in my phone so I don't have to do it while I'm at work. Be careful with that. You're going to pass out and hit your head. I know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but so it's kind of nice when you're out walking around for eight hours you get to eat more when you're active so that's good um i don't know it's been a pretty good week i feel i feel really good i feel healthy um i feel like i have lots of energy i don't feel that extra weight and the inflammation and and all that that i was feeling before um, we haven't been eating like really heavy meals that make you feel like you just gained 20 pounds when you ate a meal, um, eating salads and meats and things that you're done, you're full, but you're not, you don't feel yuck. Yeah. Well, I, I think, you know, my stomach shrinks too when I'm doing this, you know, I used to just big plate, you know, Thanksgiving plate for dinner, but uh, now it's. If I don't eat throughout the day, by the time I get to dinner, I can't eat enough to satisfy all my macro goals without feeling like I'm like, I feel like a Oompa Loompa because I just I physically can't eat that much anymore. Yeah. And, and I found that last time when we were doing keto last year, um, there was days I would run home, Angie would be at work, I'd run home and I'd been fasting all day until dinner. And I'm like trying to make this and that, and I'm like uh, making everything I can. I'm like I can't even eat anymore. I'm like oh, so stuff, but it's all good yeah. stuff. But there, it was nowhere near what I needed. So you know, and also the this intermittent fasting, you know, it doesn't have to happen every single day. You can do it three, four days a week, mm -hmm. and you can have non-fasting days. Um, I. I don't know if it's this is my opinion is that if you stay in the exact same routine every single day for too long your body gets used to that routine mm -hmm. so my opinion this is not science this is my opinion my opinion is you know you do your like 16 hour intermittent fast a couple three four times a week then on the weekends maybe we get up and have breakfast because we're together or something uh, keto breakfast um, but just just kind of throw the rhythm off here in your body don't don't let it get stuck in a groove mm -hmm. so yeah and some people um will try to keep increasing their um fasting period they'll go from eight hours to 12 hours to 16 hours to i've tried that i've gone 16 plus hours every day or yeah and uh my body doesn't like it. Um, it's okay with 12 hours. And um, after that, I just get lightheaded and jittery. And I've done, so 12 hours is good yeah. for me. And I've done 20 hour fast before. And I, I don't have a problem with it. I just couldn't do it every day. But <clears throat> periodically, you know, just give your body, give your body a shock, I guess you can say. Yeah. And um, anyway, so, we, had, we had a good week. Yeah. 
Anything else? We, it snowed today. It did snow today. As soon as we're done here, we're going to go out and play in the snow. <laughs> um, and then we're going to get to work. In the snow. We got to work on the cabin. Yes, we do. Interior walls. Woo! Yep. We're doing it. So. That, that'll be on another video. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think we're done for this week. We're done. Um, we didn't have any comments come in this week, mm -hmm. but we do encourage any comments, questions, whatnot. Um, things you eat. Things that we're getting bored with yeah. our foods. Yeah. If you want any of the recipes that we have of the ones that we've, I can, I can get you those. Yeah. Cookies, fudge. Yeah, anybody else on the journey, <laughs> we want to know about your journey. Um, and if you just have questions for us, we love to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, if you like what you're watching, just uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, stay tuned for future episodes. <laughs> All right. All right. Signing off. Signing off. How does that make you feel? <laughs> How does that make me feel? <laughs> nah, the light just went out. Different non-sugar sugar. So, so many. I had you have all one, the snacks. You have one snack? I know. I had brownies <laughs> and cookies and fudge, jello. I had. It's kind of I, gross the way you said that. But all the. Te teach your body <laughs> to eat the fats. Consume the fats. Consume maybe. the fats. Either way. Um, <laughs> but I noticed that I think all my snacks are fats. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Careful with that. You're going to pass out and hit your head. I know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but.